Our second dish tonight, we're going to make a steelhead jemili in the white wine cream sauce. So first thing first, you're going to wash your snow peas and you're going to wash your dill. So I'm going to keep my steelhead in the fridge for now. And I'm going to put my pasta in the boiling water. So if I bring the pot here, So it's quite uh, smoking, uh, boiling. Okay, so I'm going to remove the lid. First, I'm going to add a tablespoon of salt. Here is my salt. And I'm going to add it on. There we go. Good. And then I'm going to put my pasta in. And we're going to cook the pasta for about 10 to 12 minutes. Until they're cooked, but slightly al dente on the, on the core or on the center, okay? Meanwhile, we're going to uh, prepare the snow peas and the dill. So you want to wash both the snow peas and the dill separately. Yeah. To clean the snow peas, you're going to do it with your finger. You don't want to use a knife, okay? And we're going to break. And then you're going to pull to remove the string. When you're to the end, you're going to take the other side. And same thing, you're going to pull. Good. Then I kept my uh, dill in cold water to make to keep it fresh. Okay. So I'm going to just going to drain it. I'm going to pat dry my dill. There we go. So like that, like so. Pat dry it. Good. And then we are going to chop it. But first, we are going to separate the leaves from the stem. Okay. So. Stem, stem, stem. If there is some small stems, it's fine. What you don't want is to have the big stems. A bit too woody. And then I'm going to chop it. So I'm going to get my knife. Here we go. So claw position for your fingers. Okay. Good. Then I'm going to put my deal in a little bowl oh, here. Reserve. Reserve. Okay. So here I have a baking sheet. I'm going to line it with uh, aluminum foil. I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil, maybe uh, two teaspoons. Okay. And um, I'm going to use my fingers just to move, it, move the, food, the oil around, just to grease it. Good. Then you're going to open your uh, steel hand, you're going to wash it and dry it, or pat dry it. And uh, I'm going to add it to the tray here, to the baking sheet. Then I'm going to season it with salt paper. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to season the other side. And now, it doesn't matter if it's skin side up or not, doesn't matter. And then you're going to bake your steel head in the oven in the middle rack at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? The pasta has been um, in the water for about 11 minutes cooking. Okay, so I'm going to cook them a couple more minutes, two to three minutes. What's going to happen in a few minutes? I'm about, I could have, a, there was still a solution. You could have blanched the snow peas in boiling water and then remove the snow peas and uh, refresh them or we can do also pasta and uh, I'm going to add my snow peas in a few minutes in the water straight there and uh, you're going to get back to the skillet and we're going to heat the skillet on so I'm going to turn that on okay on high heat there we go. I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil a good tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. And I'm going to make a roux. So I'm going to uh, cook my, uh, my flour into the oil here. So I'm going to mix this. Then I'm going to add the garlic. Okay. All the garlic. Then I'm going to add the wine. Then I'm going to add the cream. There we go. 
Good. And I'm going to turn it down to low. And I'm going to add my chili flakes. So the chili flakes you can put half or everything. It's up to you depending how spicy you want your dish to be, okay? There we go. Now, meanwhile, my pasta are done. So I'm going to add the snoppies, all of them. I'm going to mix. So I'm going to get a little bit of water here. There we go. And I'm going to keep this for my sauce. So the snoppies I'm going to cook for about a minute, okay? It's going to be very brief. So I'm going to drain my uh, pasta and snow peas right away because the uh, snow peas are cooked one minute and my pasta are done. I'm going to return the pan to the stove. I'm going to add a cup of the pasta liquid in the sauce. So the sauce here, we didn't put any seasoning, okay? There's no salt, there's no pepper. What we're going to be working on now is um, the flavor of the sauce. So you want to boil it down. I'm going to add about half of my uh, grated cheese. There we go. When you make a sauce, you want to do the reading of the sauce. And the reading of the sauce is exactly what it is. You read the consistency of the sauce. And it has to be the perfect consistency. Just enough to coat the back of a spoon. If I take my spoon here, and I dip it in the sauce, in the liquid, and I take it here. If I do this right away, after, the line is crossing, okay? The sauce is crossing a little bit. So you want to have the line staying there. What you're going to be doing, the next thing is tasting the sauce. I like the spiciness, but it's missing a saltiness, okay? So it's not as of salt. We haven't put any, really. So I'm going to add some now. Then I'm going to add pepper. Be careful, we had chili, but I like to have a little bit of pepper flavor. And I'm going to turn it down right away. Okay, so again, I read the sauce. Okay, that's, that's better. You see the, the difference? We're going to get our uh, pasta and snow peas in the sauce now. There we go, cool. So check your, sand, your uh, steel head too. So I'm going to check mine quickly. Let's have a look. So if I take my thermometer, we want 158. Okay, so that's good. And what about this one? Way over, so that's done, right? In order to prepare our steel hand, we're going to get a spoon and a fork. The fork is going to keep, to get, to keep in place and you're going to just shred it. Well, flake it, I should say, not shred it. If you see any bones, take them out. Okay, good, perfect. So now, I'm going to add my fish to the dish here. There we go. Okay, so then I'm going to be tossing. I'm going to turn off my pan because this is done and I still want to have some uh, sauce. Okay, so turn it off. And I'm going to sell. I'm, I'm getting a pasta bowl or a pasta plate, okay? And um, just scoop. There we go. Beautiful dish. Then we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese over. There we go. I'm going to put the rest in the pan. I'm going to add the dill, fresh over. So, voila. Here we go. We have our stilled Jamili in the white wine sauce. Bon appétit.